Hi, but I'm going to show you here is how to use dynamic menu. <clears throat> First of all, when you buy the products, you will find two scripts and one note card with instructions. To start with this, you need to create a box and you will copy the two scripts inside. After this, uh, you can test what is already implemented in the example. If you click, you will see a menu. Uh, in this case, this is the main menu with three buttons. And we have another menu, which is called some menu here. Uh, with two buttons. And OK, here, for example, we will have one button that would redirect us to the sub menu. And we have another two buttons. And in the sub menu, we have only one button. Uh, button B in this case, you will see that when we change from one uh, menu to the other, we see in the global chat on menu uh, and we see one string that is uh, the ID of the menu in this case. I will show you this later in the, in the script. And when you press a button, let's say button A, you will see in the global chat button A pressed and we can see here in the in the script how it's implemented all this uh, functionality if you go and open dynamic menu cryptic you have permissions to uh, open and modify this script you will see at the beginning that we have uh, a bunch of functions called dynamic menu and something else um, all this content before the default state uh, is used all for the dynamic menu uh, script. Uh, basically, if you need to call dynamic menu from another script, let's say you want to set content or show to different users the menu, you will need to copy and paste all this part in the script. Okay, here in the default state, you will see that we define uh, some behavior in the touch start event. So when you click in the box, uh, what we do is to set uh, the user uh, that will be uh, the user of the menu basically. And then we call dynamic menu set user. And as well, when the user click, we want to display uh, the main menu and then we call this function dynamic menu show menu and we pass the id menu string in this case is main menu and another functionality implemented is in the uh, link message event you will see that we have a um, different um, let's say uh, event inside for example we have uh, on state ready we have another that is on button pressed and we have another event that is on menu basically um, on state ready is used to uh, initialize all the menus let's say all the content that you want to uh, set in the in the menus let's say the menus the buttons descriptions and so on and here for example we have uh, we are creating a new a new menu here and then we call set menu and we set the string that will we use like ID uh, for the main menu. In this case, it's main menu. And we set uh, a description here. That is what we see when we when we click in the box, basically. Uh, we want to create as well three buttons in the main menu. And then we call the function set, set button. We pass the string where, uh, of the uh, ID of a menu where we want to create a button in this case it's main menu and then we create three buttons one is by now another is button A and the third button is sound menu in this case we are calling a slightly different function because uh, this function uh, inside implements uh, some function functionality to uh, redirect the user to the sound menu and then uh, is different uh, name 
And for the sub menu one as well, we create a, the menu and we insert two buttons. Um, at the end, we call one function here that is used. Uh, the name is a uh, pre description all menu. Uh, and this is used to set uh, a header in all the menus that we have. Um, for example, you can use this to set the, the name of the product or whatever you want to. Um, okay, here we initialize all the menus. Another thing that we can do is to um, define the behavior after one uh, button is pressed in the in, in the script. Um, for example, here in this event um, button press, we want to say that if uh, in the main menu the button A is pressed, we want to say in the global chat button A pressed. In in this case, for example, by now, what I implemented here was to say, okay, if by now is pressed, I want to show to the user uh, the web page of my product in marketplace. And the same is defined here for the sub menu one where we have a button B and when you press it you will see in the global chat the same thing. And another event that we have and the last one is on menu. And this is triggered each time that you switch from one menu to the other. And then in this case what we define is that when we switch from menu main menu to the sub menu we want to say in the global chat on menu and the ID of the menu. Okay, this is a basic example. Uh, you can modify the script and implement the functionality that you need. Basically, this um, will be very helpful for you to create menus. Um, this allows you to, to change the behavior of the menus uh, along the flow. Let's say you want to uh, insert or delete menus or change the descriptions description of the menus uh, in the flow. Um, I think this will be very uh, helpful for you and will save you a lot of time creating new things in Second Life.